Hey guys, Final Master Link. That seems a little loud. That's probably good. So yeah, hey guys, Final Master Link. Back with probably, well, not probably, the last episode of, uh, or the last stream of, you know, let's play Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Or let's stream, whatever you want to call it, whatever. So, uh, I, I was go ahead and looking at a list of where to get the rest of the heart pieces that I need in order to get all heart containers in the game. And according to my count, there's five left, but apparently there's only about 12 in the actual game. But according to this, uh, I don't even know if I've gotten this one or not. But it didn't seem familiar. Apparently there's a hidden one in one of these gravestones, I I guess. Maybe it's maybe it's talking about this one, I don't know. I feel like I've already gotten the, a heart piece here, because I know I unlocked something. Although, actually, while I'm at the grave site here, I might as well go to that one thing that I captured on my phone. I do seem to recall uh, a certain order to some gravestones here, and I guess that unlocks something. I'm pretty sure I have the image on my phone. I'll just have to get it out here in a sec. Go away, dude. Alright, I guess let me... Let me look at my phone real quick. I'm almost positive I, uh, took a picture of it. Like a couple weeks ago. Okay, here. Okay, so there's, uh... Yeah, I don't really get what that means. There's a three up, four right, five up, two left, and one down. I don't know what that is. I think that's talking about a grave here. Maybe it's talking about this one. Okay, well, one is, I guess, here. Okay, two is to the left. Okay. Three is up. Come on, dude. Fuck off. Okay, four is to the right. And then five is up. Hmm. Uh, this does not look familiar. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Blue. Uh, I do have the powder, actually. I guess th this must be the color dungeon, then. I don't want to do this right now. I actually want to beat the game and then come back to it, so... Let me turn that volume up a little bit. Yeah, this has to be the color dungeon, then. Yeah, we'll come back here. So that's what that was about. I'm pretty sure the walkthrough mentioned something about, um... You push a gravestone to get a piece of heart, though, in the graveyard. I don't know which way you're supposed to hit it, but... I'm getting so sick of these damn zombies, people. It's like, fuck off. God. No. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, I guess really I could only have gotten this by using this little tool here and then jumping. Yeah. Alright, so now only four more left. And I'm pretty sure I know where two are based off of, uh, based off what I've seen from the guy that I'm looking at. Okay, cool. Oh, why'd I, why'd I do that? 
you dingus. I just go up there again. All right. Get the hell out of here now. Okay, uh... Okay, four left, four left. Let me look at the guide here. Um... Okay, there's one that has to do with the flippers. Okay, actually, there's another that has to do with the flippers. It is in the northeast section of Kenelet's Castle's outer edge. You will find a staircase leading into the water, and another staircase just ahead of it. Enter the water by way of this staircase and go... And go three screens left and four screens down. You will now be in the moat in front of some pits and a stairwell. Uh, well, how, how would you think that there's a piece of part there, honestly? I mean, I roughly know where that castle is, but... Let me look at my map. Yeah, it's just to the right, basically. Okay, so I guess I should go south and then to the left. Uh, if it'll even let me. Eh, you know what. It, it seems like it's never really a straight shot to get to a certain area. Good thing I have these warps here. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, well, in the, in the cemetery just literally to the right? Yeah. Well, shit. Well, huh. Can I just, uh... Okay, there's a camera guy, but I don't want to bother with him. Well, I, I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just do this, then. Alright. Go over here. Yeah, this isn't exactly where I wanted to go, and this is that... Up ahead comes that teleport thing, I believe. I mean, technically, this is the moat. Of the, of the castle, but I don't know how to get to it. Like, get inside it. Oh. I guess that's how? Let me see. I just know I was on the back end of the castle, so maybe through here? Yeah. Yeah, this looks right. Alright. Again, I don't have a clue how would you how you would know that this heart piece was actually here. It's not obvious at all. According to the screenshot, it is right about here. Yeah. Yeah, how would you know that? Like honestly, how would you know that game? It'd be cool if we could go under this bridge too. That'd be cool. All right. Well, okay, three more left and I Okay, yeah, the 10th one is an animal village. Which I don't think I possibly could have gotten until I had, uh... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, it's showing something a little bit weird. It's actually showing... Like, using a bomb arrow? Is that what that is? No fucking way, dude. No way. You can have bomb arrows in this fucking game? I didn't think that was a staple until, uh, I don't know, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, I forget what they, when they actually introduced bomb arrows. Well, Animal Village shouldn't be too far from here, though. Eh, no. I thought I didn't have my sword equipped, so. Fuck you, bitch. Ow. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I, I basically have to use this to get across. Uh, out of my way. Alright. So according to this, I go to the gate. I, 
I go to the cave over yonder here. Ah, shit. I guess I have to go around there, don't I? But yeah, that one cave that's been kind of eluding me, apparently you can break... You can break that one, like, cracked... I don't know what you call it, that cracked rock. It looks like you can shoot, like, a bomb arrow at it, based on the screenshot that I see. Um... Okay, well... Hop over this first, of course. I'm just curious... I'm just curious if this will actually work. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, no. It was an error, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> let me, uh, yeah. Let me do that. What? How the fuck could I have figured that out? That's bullshit, game. Like, honestly, who would have thought that would work? Y you have to press both buttons at the same time to do it. Wow. That is horseshit, dude. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's, that's, you know, two more left. Uh, let's see. Okay, the one on tall, tall heights here. So I need the flippers, hook shock, and bombs. Scale it until you eventually come to a staircase, which you will need the flippers to swim to. Follow the path until you reach your house. Go left path, pass, past the house and use your hookshot to get yourself across the broken bridge, yeah. So basically how we went to, to that place over there. Lead to a hill with a single bush, cut it down and enter the cave. And bomb the southern indented wall, go into the room and continue right. One screen to discover the piece of heart. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to go down here. Okay. I mean, that was probably the closest thing I would get to getting it right, is the one in Tall Tall Heights. But even still, like, it did, it did not make it obvious to me. Okay, bombable wall here, sure. I mean, to my knowledge, there's, like, no hint that's ever given at all for that. So I don't know how the hell you were expected to know that. Piece of shit game. But luckily, there's a teleporter here that can bas basically get us on the mountain. We're pretty close to it, so let's go ahead and do that. And it's showing the last one is for Turtle Rock, but we already grabbed that one from the last dungeon, so... It's kind of hard not to notice that. Get your S in there. Alright. Um... Oh, no, no, no. I go in once again. Uh, no. That's that's a little bit too far, actually. I don't want to go where the dungeon is. That's good. Fuck you. Piece of power. Up in your face. Better make sure no one's actually in my Twitch feed right now. Okay. I've seen if anyone was there. I wasn't actually looking at the chat, so... Alright. I think this is just the normal way that I go up anyway, just through here. Said something about making sure I, like, go up to where that house is and then... And then, you know, go across that bridge like I've been doing. Fucking wrecking everything, bit bitches. Okay, so I, I noticed that there's no... Um... Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's the heart piece itself. But I... No, no. Stop it. Um... 
Yeah, Pegasus boots here. I'm trying to think. Did they put did they put the Pegasus boots in Oracle of Seasons? I think they did. I don't think they put it in Ages though. I don't remember if the, is this the way to Fuck you, bitch. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. Shit. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I'm supposed to go to that bridge there. You'd think after coming up these mountains so many times, I'd remember that. Okay. Might as well run, Link. I mean, goddamn. Alright. Alright. Pretty sure it said to cross the bridge to the west, so... Uh... I'm still convinced I get another song from my ocarina there. Like, it looks like there should be another song to select. Ah, oh, shit, did it? No, I think it wanted me to go here. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I just went the wrong fucking way, people. Damn it. Ah, oh, you're such a dingus. Well, it's okay. Uh, I mean, I don't really know how hard the color dungeon is, but... I'm, I'm sure it's harder than the final level. I probably should have started this earlier. It's actually about 9, 9.30 right now, so... But, you know, I was playing something else earlier, and, you know, I ate dinner, naturally. I was also watching, uh, some more Black Clover, you know. <laughs> Get your ass up there, Link. <clears throat> okay, here's the house, yeah. Now, just to confirm, let me look at that paragraph again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go left past the, left past the house and use the hook shot. Uh, this will lead to lead you to a hill with a single bush. Cut it down and enter the cave. Bomb the southern indented wall. I. Uh, I mean, if you say so, game. Or if you say so, website. I wish the game would tell me about it. South indented wall. There's no south indented wall, is there? Unless it's talking about that one. Hold on a sec. I'll be a piss-ass monkey's uncle. So that's how you do it. I couldn't even tell that it was indented. Man, those bastards, dude. Alright, well that's three out of four. Son of a bitch. I, I never would have guessed, honestly. It didn't look indented at all to me. Alright, now I really gotta... I really gotta think of where the last one would be then. And according to this guide, it's it's not from that river game. So I I'm kinda curious what that's all about then. Like is there another special item you get from that river game or what? Cause if so, I don't know what it is. I thought you always just got a piece of fart from doing that. Okay, let me think. 
Yeah, you got the one at the cemetery, you got the one at Tall Tall Heights, the one where the, like, the pool of water. I know I've gotten that. Got the one at Yarna Desert, yeah. I think I've gotten this. It says there's one in Ukuku Prairie. I thought I would have gotten that one. One in the mysterious woods. I know for sure I've gotten the one from Koholint Prairie, Mobby Village. That's a fishing game in Mobby Village in the in the well. I know I've gotten those for sure. I guess I could call. I guess I could try the Prairie one. Of course, now my cat wants to move from sleeping from the past three hours. She just, I don't know, she always wants to do that. Should be simple enough to just kind of drop down here and go south. Actually, isn't Koholan Prairie technically like just... Oh, okay, there it is. Or Ukuku Prairie, whatever you want to call it. Oh, our bracelet. I wish you could just like, well, I guess it wouldn't make sense. Never mind. Still the cemetery, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's just keep going down. Keep going down. Okay, I think it's talking about this cave, isn't it? Yeah, I've definitely been here. Yeah, I've definitely been there. Well, shit. Mysterious Woods, that one looks familiar to me. Can do it after getting the power bracelet, which I've done. The tunnel that leads to the area where you got the toadstool. There are two skulls blocking the way to the piece of heart. Pick them up using the power bracelet and cast them aside to get to it. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I have actually gotten that one. Because you don't get the power bracelet till like... Maybe the third level. So, I mean, it sounds like something that I haven't gotten, so. In the woods we go, I guess. Sup. Thank you for everything, Jest. You were the kindest boy I know. One day I made a wish to the windfish. What was the wish? It was, no, it's secret. Oh, I bet. It's probably to get in Link's pants, or tunic, whatever the hell he wears. Trousers? I don't know. Oh, th uh, this is totally the wrong way, bro. No Bow Wow is still as energetic as ever. Alright. see, specific screen. Let's see. Shows it right here. So about sc three screens up, then. Oh, like over here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I got this one. Yeah. Huh. Who would have thought it'd be like at the very beginning of the game here? Okay, then. Uh, how do I want to do this? Mm. Probably like that, yeah. I got all the heart pieces! Fucking badass bitches. Now I got a complete heart container. 
complete heart container. Fucking legend. Still, it's, it still kind of blows that there's only 12 heart pieces in the entire game, but, you know. Like, it seems kind of crappy compared to, like, some of the other games. Like, you know, in Ocarina of Time, there's, what, 18? Or, no, no. No, it can't be 18. Uh, 24, maybe? I don't know. And what, what kind of pissed me off... Actually, hold that thought. I gotta let my damn cat out. Okay, cat. Okay, cat. Okay, cat. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, just making sure my voice is still recording here. Uh, now what was I saying? Oh, it, oh, it always pissed me off in, um... In Skyward Sword, how you actually start the game off with three heart containers, or... With six heart containers as opposed to three. And on top of that, they actually... In order to get, like, all of your heart containers, you know, nice, even... You know, number of heart containers, you actually equip this item that basically gives you, like, two temporary heart containers like when you wear it like it raises your max health essentially so with that they removed at least you know uh let's see i'm trying to think three would be three would be 12 and then five and six would be 24 so they removed 24 heart contain uh heart pieces in the game just for skyward sword that's one thing that kind of pissed me off about about it you know it's like what the fuck And then in some other issues, like, you know, like the game being very, um, very linear. Like, it's probably one of the most linear, it's probably the most linear Zelda game I've ever played in my life. Um, but at the same time, you know, I'd probably rather play that than, um, Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild fucking drags on, it really does. And I, fuck, I still fucking hate how the weapons break in that game. It's a constant problem. I would actually really like to fill up the map with those four spaces, but we can do that after the credits roll. I'm not I'm not done playing the game just yet. I want to do the color dungeon, so I'm just curious. Let me um, save state here. And then we'll wake up the windfish here. Uh, I kind of forget how to do this. Well, I assume you pull out your ocarina, don't you? Uh... Maybe I should talk to the hint guy again? I don't know. I guess I don't remember... I guess I don't know how to do that properly. Huh. Let me go to one of those hint guys. Hint houses, whatever you call them. Because, yeah, I, I don't remember. I don't know how to actually wake him up. You know, I got all the instruments. I assume you just go up to him and press A or something. I know there's a hint house in town. Let's go there real fast. Okay. It's time for you to face the egg on Mount Tomba Ranch. Oh, okay. Um... Hold on a sec. 
I really cannot be bothered to come all the way back up here. Oh, I mean, this is the egg. I doubt that does anything. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Launch some fire at it? Yeah, that's a good idea, huh? Well, how do I wake the bastard up? I have all the instruments. I don't- I don't get it. Am I supposed to lift up the egg? That'd be kind of funny, actually, if I could do that. No. What the fuck? <laughs> now, maybe I am missing something in particular. I don't know. Fuck, game. Maybe I'm supposed to be taught, like, the song. Maybe that's my third song here, The Ballad of the Windfish. Maybe I learned that from, uh, Marin in Town. Or whatever the hell her name was. Maybe that's the, the gimmick here. Or maybe I actually have to do the color dungeon before that. I don't know. Because I, I believe she actually knows the song Ballad of the Windfish, doesn't she? So I guess she could teach me it. That's the only guess that I have. I mean, I doubt that goddamn owl is going to be y useful at all anymore in this game, so... Okay, yeah, 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 blah, 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 shut up. I don't care, kid. That was not a good thing for me to do, was it? Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? Sure. Okay, this, yeah, this must be Ballad of the Windfish then. Okay. really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yeah, it does, actually. And we've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Okay, that, that sounds like what we, what we need, then. Now we have to go up to that place. And I guess we kind of got to go the long way now, don't we? Oh, uh, well... I guess no, we don't, since, is it, since there's a teleporter here. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, now we can actually beat the game. I feel like I should have full hearts as I'm, as I'm doing this. You guys got any hearts to spare by chance? No? Any hearts? No. Oh, there we go. There we go. I feel like I should be at my maximum strength when I'm waking up the windfish, you know what I mean? 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I want half of a heart, so... There we go. Alright. Da 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 da! Alright, let me uh, safe state this again then. I think it was this file. Ugh. I don't even know if you have to be right in front of it or, or not. Here we go. Maybe maybe get a give a little bit of room. A little bit of room. Aw shit. You know, I kinda wonder if uh the sounds down from Earthbound you know, with the with the your sanctuary locations, I wonder if that concept was taken out of this game, or or maybe it was used from uh, Mother One, which I've never played that much of that game, so who knows? I think that came out 1990. I bet the Switch version of this song is pretty badass. Uh, what? I actually go inside the egg? That's a little odd. Is this a- is this a dungeon? Windfish's egg? That's... unusual. Uh... Okay. I actually didn't think that this would be a dungeon, to be honest. I thought you just woke him up and then and, and there you go. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Yeah, there has to be some kind of trick here. Maybe I play a song and it leads me to the direction I need to go? No? Uh, okay. This is confusing. What if I just keep going forward? Is this supposed to kind of mimic like the Lost Woods or something from the first Zelda game? You know, where you gotta go up four times? God damn it, game. And you're you're starting to piss me off now. Wasn't there another Lost Woods thing that's like like up, right, left down or something? Okay, I'm totally confused now. I just maybe I'm just supposed to actually go out and then go back in I don't know because this I'm confused one fish's egg yeah 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 okay to my knowledge I can't break these open Some light would be pretty pretty nice. Fortunately, I can't even reach those damn things. Damn it. Wait a minute. 
Can I push these at all? I can't break these walls. No. Damn it, dude. There has to be some trick, but I, I, I don't know. It is kind of nice I can spam fire whenever I want, though. fucking clue what to do here, people. Hey. Maybe there's an item that I need still? A particular item that I don't know about? the fuck? I mean, I can't really think of anything else I could need because, uh... You know, the... The hint house that I was talking to? The hint house I was just talking to basically just said, hey, you know, go wake up the windfish, so I can't really imagine why it would tell me anything else. That was kind of what, what was that some kind of glitch or what? It's kind of awesome. Huh, that was kind of badass actually. I made the sword like kind of go through myself there. Okay, what the fuck, game? Wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to listen to the music? Maybe that's my hint? Or maybe not. I'm probably just looking too much into this. The fuck do I do? Hmm. I'm supposed to run through these rooms? I still feel like there's something I'm missing. Maybe throw some powder on this? You know, the stuff that we never really used in the game? Except for, like, the first two dungeons. Okay. Well, I know I can't make that if I jump. What? There's a platform there? I, I, I wouldn't have guessed. Damn. Okay, I guess I found out the a key here. Even though I don't see it, there's, I guess, a platform there somehow. Damn it, dude. Love it when I can't see platforms, am I right? Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I was clearly on something, though, wasn't I? I'm pretty sure I was. Maybe it has to be a jumping... Maybe it has to be a running jump. Only thing I can think of. Okay. I fucked that up. Alright. Fuck. It must be a really small platform there. I just wish I knew where the hell it was. Maybe if I look really close, I can see it. Or wait. Damn, dude. I was on a platform, I could tell. I can't see the goddamn thing, though. Well, thank God I don't take fall damage. Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can actually shoot fire at that. Like, after I land there. You know, just real briefly. It sure, it sure help, it, it sure be helpful. I hope that stays on. I have a feeling it doesn't, though. Of course it wouldn't. Of course it wouldn't. God damn it. Man, this shit sucks, dude. <laughs> Fuck! Why is this so hard? I'm probably gonna look at a walkthrough just to... Just to even remotely tell what the hell I'm doing. Like, I keep sliding off of something. I don't know if there's ice there or what. I keep slipping off there, it seems like. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd have such a hard time? Fuck. I'm pretty damn tired of that. You know what? Let me let me actually look to see what the fuck I'm doing. Cause this is just gonna piss me off, people. Uh where do I wanna go here? Okay. Link's awakening. Not talking about the Switch game, talking about the OG. Oh. I know there's a walkthrough somewhere. I guess it'd be under dungeons. Is that considered a dungeon? Yeah, Windfish's Egg. Okay. Let me look at that. Okay, is there no walkthrough companion to this? I 
Okay, that's interesting. It says, in order to navigate through the maze-like area, Link must read dark secrets and mysteries of Koho Lint in the Mabe Village Library, which hel which tells him the directions to take. I was not aware of that. Well, I don't want, I don't really want to go back to that fucking library to read it. Well, what does it say? Oh, I see. Wow. Well, that's stupid. So apparently, the magnifying glass is used to read very small text in the Koholint library. You can read it before because the text was so small, hence that's why that whole trading sequence was necessary. So that's kind of retarded, to tell you the truth. So basically, I can't do anything until I look at that. So that's just dandy, isn't it? <laughs> that's kind of stupid. Goodness gracious. That is dumb. Uh, huh. I, I guess uh, probably gonna save that dungeon, uh, that color dungeon for tomorrow night. It looks like, because uh, this will probably take a bit of time to get through, and then I'll have to, you know, like go to sleep. So, oh well. It's not like I'm in a rush to stream any other game. I was in one of Funk's streams earlier. I should have mentioned, like, like, he would do some guest commentary on me when I stream, like, a Mega Man game or something. I think that could be kind of neat. Although I think he'd... I think he'd get tired of me raging at my failure, though. Where exactly is the library again? I think it's on the left side of the village. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, technically I've already seen it. It is kind of nice to see you can examine things without actually being there. That's kind of neat. Yeah, here it is. Do you really want to read it? Yes, I do. Okay, so there we go. That's <laughs> that's the secret right there. You cannot read it until you got that damn... Um... Take a picture of that. Yeah, you cannot get through that without... You cannot see that without having the magnifying glass. That was the whole point of that, apparently. Book Reeks of Secrets. Okay, cool. And that book on the top, you know, that was for the color dungeon, as you guys know. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> Luckily, there's a teleporter nearby, so that'll help. Well, I guess good to know I, I completed that. Otherwise, I'd have to complete that, like, all the way again. I guess for once, the game kind of... You know, gives you like a little pat on the back for actually doing the optional trading sequence of the game. Because I know you, you never have to do that shit like in um, Ocarina of Time. That's totally optional to get, you know, you can do the game without getting the Big Goron Sword, so. But the Big Goron Sword is pretty badass, so <laughs> why wouldn't you want it? Or I guess the equivalent in Majora's Mask, you would get the uh, the Gilded Sword, which is also pretty damn cool. I'm trying to remember, did I even get the Gilded Sword when I last played Majora's Mask? I want to say I probably did, because it's so powerful. I'm um, going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. Here we go. I guess I might as well save state it again. Here. Oh goodness. Okay, 
Okay, I, I assume we probably have to get rid of like this nightmare before before I can go through that again. Okay, so according to this, right, up, up, right, up, up, right, and up. Yeah. Dumb game. <laughs> We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. The windfish doesn't wake up. This island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Okay, cool. Okay, so what's this jackass do? Huh? Huh? Don't know what that was, but okay. Well, what was I supposed to shoot swords at it, maybe? Uh, there has to be some way to kill it. Fire? <laughs> kill it with fire! Oh, maybe this? Oh, I forgot to set it. No. Yeah, it's not working either. Bombs, maybe? Grappling hook? Come on, game. Arrows? Oh, magic powder? That makes sense, actually. Damn. Yep. That's sort of what I thought. I mean, good to know we actually use them again, though. Okay. This is one of those I have to reflect it back at you, you know. Yeah, okay. Bring it on, bitch. I guess this is one of those bosses where, like, oh, you use the items, you know, you use throughout the game to, to kill them. Which I'm fine with that. It makes it feel like, you know, you've gotten so much more powerful and well-equipped throughout the game. Ooh. Ow. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have gotten a potion for this final battle, but I didn't.
Yeah, this shield is definitely nice to have. Especially when it starts freaking the fuck out. Ah! Okay. Next. That definitely looks like Ganon, doesn't it? Fuck. Oh, you probably have to hit him with your... Well, I, I would guess arrows. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Fuck, I can't hit him. Hmm. Maybe that's supposed to do it? I don't know. I mean, my sword doesn't do jack. Now I'm gonna get my monkey ass handed to me if I don't... If I don't get my shit together. Well, that didn't do dick. Shit, dude. about my fire rod. Fuck. Okay, um... Okay, how do I do this? Stop it, Link. Oh, that's how? I didn't, I didn't think I had to use a spin attack like that, okay. I mean, it is pretty appropriate that, uh... Damn. Gotta charge that a little faster now. That's one. Good, good, good. Keep it up, Link. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay. Good, good. Rock's Feather, very useful for this. Damn. Fingers are kind of cramping from this. Did I do it? No way. Fuck. Stop it. Still not quite sure what his weakness is here. Arrows? Damn, bitch. Seriously, dude? Fire rod? Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucked. He's gonna get my ass- I'm gonna get my ass handed to me here. I, I'm curious if I have to pierce him in the eye, or... Fuck. <laughs> well, I definitely tried. I definitely tried there. Damn. Uh. You know what? Just, just so it prevents me from, you know. 
It gives me f uh, full health again. I, I think it's fair to do this. Let me just look up, uh, go to the image again. Okay, so right up, up. Right. Up, up, right, and then up. All right. I think we can do it this time. Now that I have an idea of what I'm doing. May the windfish sleep endlessly. Well, you're a prick, aren't you? Yeah, let's rumble indeed. Yeah, I know the first one is the... this. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to remember, is this how I actually killed the first boss, or...? Or what? Just threw powder on him? I don't I don't remember. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one where I just knock it back at his stupid ass. Dumb bitch. Actually this kinda reminds me of uh, that wizard from uh Link to the Past. Maybe that's who it's actually supposed to imitate. Closer there. Ow. I can't tell when he's doing that or the other one. Fuck. Asshole. Fuck, game. How close do I have to be to hit the bastard? Oh my god. Stop it, game. There we go. Okay, next, next douchebag now. Oh, this fucking guy. I mean, as long as I have my level 2 shield here, he's not really that hard. The shield does block most of the hits. Alright. There we go. Ganon now? Yeah. Actually, let me... I'm pretty sure I can... Yeah. Luckily, I can charge this while jumping out of the way. Uh, it's okay if I take a little bit of damage here, you know. <coughs> Damn, dude. Stop hitting me. Damn. 
Fuck. I don't think I was gonna hit him anyway there. He's right in the fucking middle. There. Oh, what's the next one? Okay, this one. Uh, arrow, I believe. Alright. <sighs> Should probably keep my shield just in case here. I don't know what hurts his eye. I would assume my sword does, but... No, don't look like it. Yeah. Probably go with an arrow instead. And maybe... Use this to jump out of the way? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how many arrows he takes, but... Get on, ho. Well, you know, I'd say he has a fair amount of challenge to him, though, for sure. Come on. These arms are getting annoying, though. Whoa! Fuck, I'm out of arrows. Well, what do I do now? Maybe I can hit him with fire? No? maybe oh that actually does work huh sort of surprised damn dude man I was so close too I'm sure that's like his last form or whatever. Oh, why'd I do that? <laughs> I probably should have just saved from that state, but... Ah, uh, actually... Maybe I should go buy some arrows and a potion. I mean, I do got the money, but I... Damn it. <laughs> well... Let's try one more time. Okay. Go to the right. Up, up, right. One, up, up, right, and then up. I think I'm actually going to make a th third state here so I don't want to have to do that again <clears throat> but I want to beat him in one go so you know yeah 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 let's rumble let's, l l l let's get ready to rumble as WWE would say I gotta look out for more of those for those arms some more. Those arms will fuck you up when he's in, when he when his when he's in his eyeball form. And I suppose probably uh, use more bombs. I suppose rather than arrows. Oh, shit. Damn. All right. All 
remember right, he becomes that wizard dude, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Okay. Yeah, final boss is still fairly challenging, so I appreciate that of the game. Would probably be more of a cakewalk if I if I played the Switch version of the game. Switch version is for pussies, so you know. Alright. Now the snake guy. Loses his fucking shit. It's hilarious to me. Ow. Alright, Ganon, his stupid ass. And now I gotta kinda. I actually have two different fingers on each. on each. Fuck. surprised I hit him, actually. When he's in the middle like that, it's hard for me to get around to all of his stupid little bat bitches. Okay. Not bad, not bad. You know, if I was fast enough, I could hit him twice, but... Fuck. God damn it. See, it's really hard to... I don't know how I did that. <laughs> gonna lose his fucking shit now. But the thing is, these bombs aren't gonna last that long, you know? Oh, right, right, his... Yeah, I did take a cheap hit there, but oh well. The thing is, with these bombs, I don't know when they're actually gonna land. And so I think I'll have to end up resorting back to... Like, I can't predict when his things will actually open. I assume I can hit those... What do you call them? Don't look like I can hit them. I kind of wonder if those bombs do more damage than my arrows, though. That would be kind of neat to, to see. The thing is, with him always moving... Like, I can't predict when he's gonna open it, so... Damn it. Oh, great. 
Now I gotta do the other thing. I don't think there's any actual other way to attack him now. Other than the other than uh, these arrows. Wish there was a way for him to drop arrows, that'd be nice. I know they tend to do that like in games like the Minish Cap, you know. Come on. I got a cheap shot there, but he hit me too. Fuck. Such a pain in the ass, dude. Man. And I can only hit him from the... And I can only hit him from the front, too. Fuck. Motherfuckers. I mean, if I'm gonna run out of arrows anyway, I might as well... No, I'm out of arrows now. Fuck! Damn, this guy is hard. Huh. Huh. No, powder don't hurt him. I guess. I don't know if I got close enough or what. No, that won't hurt him. Shit! I'm out of options now. God damn it. Well, that's just as well. God damn. Fuck. <sighs> I guess I'm getting a fucking potion then and some more arrows. Uh, actually, hold that thought. Yeah, that never happened. <laughs> Gotta remember where that damn witch's house is. Okay, yeah, Crazy Tracy's Health Spa, that sounds about right. I, th I think she actually sells the potion to you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, just down and to the left. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can use the... Yeah, that's right. Crazy Tracy. 42 rupees for your secret? Yes. I'll definitely take that. Yep. Definitely useful. Definitely useful. Uh, and I, I guess we're actually going into town to get some fucking arrows. Stupid fucking... <laughs> Stupid motherfucking boss. Uh, the, the few times I actually have to go to a shop, too. Like, who would have thought? This is what I want, sir. I mean, the... Pretty reasonably priced rupees. I wish I wish arrows were that cheap in, in Breath of the Wild, that's for damn sure. Am I maxed out? No, I can buy more. I don't care if I'm technically getting, getting five more than I need. Because I think the max I can hold is 30, yeah. Eh, while I'm at it. Might as well. Alright, cool. Now I think I can beat this bitch. 
this, this fucking loser. <laughs> Uh, 10.33. Fuck you, bitch. <sighs> that potion will help a lot, though. It'll make up for my lack of skill. Well, then again, shit, I'm doing this much harder than Funky did in, in his uh, Switch version because he had fucking bottles. I have a bottle, but I'm sure he has at least, you know, a couple. Don't go that way, you silly goose. But he's still having fun with the Witcher right now. Probably gonna have sex with a Beezy in there. There's a lot of Beezies to have sex with in that game. As someone who's played it uh, about about three years ago, I want to say, because it, it, because it was before I worked at my current job, so all right, right up up. Probably shouldn't even bother saying it now. Just. Do it, don't, you know, don't piss off your audience here, or lack thereof. There we go. I highly doubt I'm going to die, so I didn't bother safe stating there, but... Yeah, this, this guy is not the easiest thing in the world. It's those fucking arms, like, I wish there was a way to disable them, or, and maybe there is, I don't know. that powder out get that crack out that's what I think it is I think it's actually crack but we're gonna we're not gonna you know they're not gonna admit it it's you know it's a Nintendo game For a second, I thought I was too late with that strike. Unos, dos. Tres. I'm trying to remember my Spanish numbers. I think four is cuatro. Come on. Quattro? Could have sworn he required more than four hits, but... Alright, now he's gonna do that... The... Caterpillar dude. Yep. Defend. Fuck. I kind of wonder if you can hit him multiple times in a row when he's in that crazy state. Alright. Now the Ganon wannabe now. Not bad, not bad. Fuck. Screwed that up. I 
I don't know why he's stuck in that spot. Glitch, maybe? Well, as long as he lets me kill him, that's all that matters. There we go. There. Uh, okay, yeah, and, uh, have that and that on. <sighs> oh. Keep forgetting about that, actually. Alright. Thank god I have that potion! I don't think hitting those harm arms do anything, like I mentioned. Just hit him in the eye as much as I can, I guess. I notice sometimes, like, he'll immediately open his eye and then close and then open it up immediately again, kind of like that. Doesn't seem to happen too often, though. Ow. I mean, if I don't have enough arrows this time, then God help me, you know? Fuck. Fuck! This actually requires a little bit of skill here, people. Shit. A little bit of focus, some concentration, you know. You know, try not to confuse your two button inputs, you know. Come on, dude. I don't want to be doing this forever. How did I not get hit there? I don't even know. Okay. Good, good. Only seven left though, unfortunately. Seven arrows. Fuck yeah, bitch! Did it! Oh, what's up, Game Long? I didn't even notice you were there, dude. Yeah, it looks like I, uh, I fucked him up. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Uh, fuck. Oh, thank Christ. I did it. Jest, you've be you've beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Thank fuck. Looks like a special flight of stairs too. I don't remember seeing that sprite in the game. Oh, thank God for that, dude. What? Oh, huh. Stairway to heaven? Is that what this is? I don't know. Oh, that looks badass, dude. Look at the colors. I'm guessing those are clouds then. Some weird ass design. Hoot, young lad, I mean just the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and and badassery. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day the nightmares entered the dream and began wrecking havoc. Then you just came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Jest. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Hoot Hoot. Alright, yeah, see you in Ocarina of Time, I guess. Looks more like a whale than a fish to me. I mean, it, it's it, it's pretty decked out, though, I gotta say, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I am the windfish. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, and an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of the dreams to end. When I dust awaken, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday thou may recall this island. That memory must be the real dream world. Come, Jest. Let us awaken together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Damn! Getting a ride to, getting a ride to get the fuck out of here. Um, I assume that effect is due to the emulator fucking up. I don't think it actually does that on the machine. Like, it looks like it's flickering a little bit there. I think it's just the emulator. Or the ROM. So yeah, beat Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, almost 100%. I mean, technically, there are four screens that I haven't... Uh, that I haven't opened up on my map yet. Um, I, I'll, I'll double check. I could have sworn you could earn a heart, att a heart attack, a heart piece from uh, from that river mini game. Uh, but I've gone through it and I probably missed like certain items in it. But uh, I have all the heart pieces in the game, as you can, uh, as you've noticed. So I don't know if. Maybe there's just something else there, or if that's just to earn money. Um, this is a pretty cool little cutscene here. I'm rather impressed the Game Boy Color could do this. Or even the Game Boy, you know, being black and white. There goes the windfish, I guess. Looks Still looks like a whale to me. Maybe it's some weird Japanese thing, I don't know. But yeah, pretty... This is actually a pretty damn good game, to tell you the truth. I still don't know if I would actually pay... You know, 25 or so dollars for a cartridge of it. And the other thing is, you know... 
after like every 10 or so years, you'd have to replace the battery for it too, so there's that. But I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I guess the next time I'll actually sort of play this game is when I get the Switch remake. Of course, I have to have Nintendo Switch first. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a discount on that later this year. Or they'll, or they'll just make a Switch 2.0, whatever. The, you know, I'm sure Nintendo has a plan in the works. Of course, that's not the sole reason to buy the Switch. Uh, I mean, if there's a game that I, like, had to play, it'd probably be Mario Odyssey. I actually own a copy of that game, because I got it for, like, half off. Uh, is this one of those things where it won't go back to the title where, where it had the games? I guess not. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. So, tomorrow I'm actually going to do the color dungeon, and I'm just going to try to make sure I have all the side stuff done. Uh, I mean, I can't really think of anything else other than the color dungeon. And maybe doing that river minigame one more time, you know, give it another go. Maybe earning some more money than I actually put in. I know it costs 100 rupees per, per go. But, uh, yeah, other than that, the... The, the original game is done, let's just say that. Um, pretty fucking good game. And with that being said, I guess... Uh, I mean, normally, I would, normally I'd probably stream it on Tuesday night, but honestly, tomorrow when I get home after I eat dinner, you know, I can just do this tomorrow night, the color dungeon, and, and then, uh, you know, have at it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.